So today I want to talk about case design and how the way we order and build our PCs may change drastically just in the few years. So right now, if you go to buy a case, some of them are really, really well optimized. You have some ITX cases that are as big as a PS4, maybe even smaller, and can fit a full-size graphics card. But they make these decisions, right? They go, okay, we've just decided you're going to use an ITX motherboard. You're going to use a small form factor power supply. We're going to assume you're going to buy one of these, like, four graphics cards, and we're going to assume you only need one, maybe two SATA SSDs, that you'll mostly just use NVMe, that you're not going to have a giant rack of hard drives. And that works. But when it comes to anything bigger than uh, super small ITX cases, and those ones are usually really expensive, you usually have to make a ton of sacrifices in size and features. I've seen these micro ATX cases or even ATX cases that can't even fit like a 12 inch graphics card because they've got this useless hard drive rack going down to the bottom. Really? Do most people now need 12 3.5 inch drives? I'm sure one person listening does, but it seems like a waste to make it so you have to take out like a bread knife and cut off part of the cage just so you can put a full graphics card. Most people don't even use any 3.5 inch drives anymore. But it's because these case designers and manufacturers have to build a case that can be sold to 90% of people or 95%. And so they make it a little too big or add a few features that you wish you didn't need to waste space on that you wish made room for something else you need. That's just how it works. It's where you find a case that perfectly nails it. But 3D printing should change all of that. Right now, we're starting to see the very beginnings of this. And of course, my favorite example is this APU case that was designed to literally have an AMD stock fan jet out of the side a little bit and basically just cool the whole damn thing. What an incredibly innovative design that a hobbyist put together. And it really makes sense why the first 3D printed popular cases, or I guess I should say known cases, are for ITX. These are the people already willing to compromise on a few things and say, no, I just need a couple drives. And you know what? I just want to minimize how many fans I, I need. I, I only have one APU. And so, yeah, let's make the uh, stock cooler come out of the side and cool the whole thing. You know, that's cool. But it doesn't need to stop there eventually. Once 3D printers become more common, I do expect them to within five years. It would make a lot of sense if what you did is go to a website and you type in, I'm going to use this many 2.5 inch drives. I'm going to use... Uh, this size motherboard, I need this type of cooling and I want to fit this many graphics cards that are roughly this big. And then through some sort of machine learning or just pre-programmed system, they have the website go, take all of your needs and kind of just generate automatically a 3D model that you can print. And then boom, Bob's your uncle. You just print that thing right there and it's only as big as you need it to be. And in fact, it'll probably have substantially better cooling than anything out there now. I mean, right now, manufacturers are basically forced to just make big empty boxes to make sure everyone can use it. But that wouldn't be necessary. That wouldn't be necessary in a future where everything was tailor-made to exactly what you need. Now, maybe you just pay a $10 design fee, and then that's it. That's how they make their money. They make their money off of a design fee, and you just have to pay the whatever amount of money in plastics or maybe even eventually metals to 3D print your case. This could lead us to a future where even SLI micro ATX cases could be... As big as a lot of the ITX boxes I see now. And a lot of those ITX boxes are not much smaller percentage-wise than... Well, usually they're actually bigger volume than my Cerebra Slinger Micro ATX case. That can fit a 280mm liquid cooler, 3950X, and all this other stuff. Oop. I didn't say I have a 3950X yet. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is one of those quick perspective thoughts I threw out there. The idea that you just have a website that generates a 3D model you can print on the fly that's only as big as you need to be and cool is better. I think that's just such a cool idea that I want to get us talking about. Let's talk about it on the Discord. If you support me on Patreon, you can join us all there. Otherwise, how about in the comments? You guys know I read them. And of course, if you did like this video, 
if you're a hitchhiker, just share it, like it, and tell your friends about it. All right. Thank you.